Welcome back here. Post-game Babson victorious in the first round against Emerson. Another 30-point win, 87-57 here tonight. And I'm joined by Kat Samuelonis and also Taya Spellacy. Big factors in Babson's win tonight. We'll start with you, Kat, because you had about as good a first half as you can have. You made three three-pointers. You went for seven for nine. But I think the biggest thing was you were able to really get that up-tempo basketball going that you love to practice, you love to play, and you were able to do it for that full 20 minutes. How were you able to not only get it going that fast but still play in control with the game happening at that speed? Um, I think it started with our rebounding. We weren't letting them get second opportunities, so that was big. And then we were pushing it in transition, which we talked about at the beginning. So um, they couldn't really keep up with us. So that was what we were trying to focus on, and that's what got our easy looks in the beginning. And Tay, you were setting a lot of those up. There were a lot of rebounds coming out long because they were missing some long shots. So it seemed like every time you were getting it, you were already five or ten feet down the floor. Uh, how did you develop that vision to know, okay, I've got to go to Cat or I've got to go to somebody else and we can score quick? Honestly, it's all about the second chance efforts, like just knowing someone's shooting a three, the rebound's going to be long, and then you have to just pull it out, run another play, get as many second chance efforts as we could. You certainly were able to do that, and Kat, you had those back-to-back 26-point -back quarters, which is very hard to do at all, but to do it back-to-back -back was pretty impressive. How were you able to get back out there in the second quarter and play at that same level that you did in the first, even though you knew you had a big lead? Um, we just kept like trying not to focus on the score. We kept saying like it's 0-0 the whole game. That's what we really wanted to focus on. Um, and then we just wanted to keep up the intensity, and we kept like really focusing on defense, and that's what led to our offense. So I think that... We just like kept saying that we have to keep up the intensity and keep keep transitioning because that's what that's what we were doing well at. So, and so you'll get another chance at WPI now as you head out to the semifinal round, and it's always been a great matchup between the two of you. It's been a fantastic rivalry throughout your career. As you get to the latest installment, what are those things that they do well that you know you're going to have to overcome in order to get to Sunday? We're just going to have to keep them not in their game. So they're all about driving and everything. We have to just play our game, play our defense and work on getting turnovers to get into our offense. And I'll just ask you kind of both the question, give you both the chance to talk about it. This is the end of the road at home here for Brenna. She's had a fantastic career, won a lot of games, and kind of no matter how far you go, you know you're not coming back to this building. So this is kind of like a mini graduation for her tonight. So having been her teammate for as long as you have, uh, what has she meant to you, and, and what do you think is in store for her in the future? She's been an awesome leader. She's the only senior, and we have a really young team this year, so we've all been like kind of leaning on her. And um, she's been doing really well, and we just like we love her. She's a great captain, and she's a great leader. So she's really going to be missed next year. And say what say you? Honestly, she's just a great leader on and off the court. She's really going to be missed, especially in post. All right. Well, good luck to you both this weekend, and here's hoping you're playing into next week, and good luck bringing it home to Babson. Thank you. All right, it's going to do it for us here tonight. Babson victorious by a final score of 87 to 57 over Emerson, and they are moving on to semifinal Saturday.